In today's video, we are going to talk about how to fix USB ports not working in Windows 11 Fast. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, open the settings of your Windows 11 and then go to the Windows update and make sure you do not have any update pending to be installed because sometimes there is an update that forces your system not to work properly in some kinds of expects and that can be the reason for your USB ports not working. After you are done installing all the updates and still there is an issue, open the device manager of your Windows 11 and then go to your USB controllers. Under the Universal Serial Bus Devices, scroll down and above that we have Serial Bus Controllers. From here, what you need to do, you need to uninstall the devices that are related to USB and you can update them as well. So just update both of these and then you are good to go. Just close this one and here it says USB Root Hub 3.0. I will update this one as well. After we are done with this one, I'll show you that what you can do right here. Sometimes power supply delivers power to your USB ports and for some reasons, if it fails to do this properly, the devices plugged into those USB ports may stop working. But this can be fixed quite simply. What you need to do, you need to double click on your USB root hub and then go to your power management and here it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck this option and now click on ok and now you will not have this problem do the same for all the devices that are related to usb root hub just uncheck it click on ok and you are good to go i'll just close this one and now let's talk about another solution if you are using the fast startup feature on your laptop, it might be preventing your Windows operating system from detecting the hardware changes when it boots up. So for that purpose, we can get rid of this problem. Open the control panel of your Windows 11 and then search for power. Here it is. I'll just click on power option and from here, I'll click on choose what the power button does. Now, if you see here, we have changed settings that are currently unavailable and here it says turn on fast startup and this option is on. Just uncheck this one and here it says this helps start your PC faster after shutdown. So I'll just uncheck this option and now I'm good to go. Make sure you do this as well. And now I'm sure that you will not have USB port problem anymore. After this solution, Turn off your USB selective suspend options as well. So for that purpose, again, I'll open the control panel and then again, I look for power options. Here it is. I'll just open this one. This time I'll go to change when computer sleeps or change when to turn off the display. Check any one of these. And from here, click on change advanced power settings. Well, the USB selective suspend is another feature on Windows 11 that disables a particular USB port on the motherboard to save you some power without affecting other USB port. You can turn off this feature. For example, here it says USB setting. Just expand this one and expand it further. And from here, make sure you have enabled both of them on battery and plugged in as well. So I have enabled both of them. After that, click on apply and click on OK and you are good to go. For the last solution, I want to suggest you that you should look in the registry editor in your Windows 11 to check if the issue is caused by the wrong entry in the registry editor or not. Keep in mind one thing and that is any improper change in the registry can cause irreversible problems with the operating system. So make sure you have a backup of your operating system. So I'll just search for registry editor hit enter i'll go to my h key local machine i'll go to my systems after the system i'll go to current control set which is right here from here i'll go to control and then 
I'll go to class. So I'll just search for it. Here it is. And from here, look for 4D36E965, which is right here. And look if there is any upper filter or lower filter entry. If you find any, just delete those entries and you are good to go. And these were some of the solutions that you can apply. And that also brings me to the end of this video. And still, if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.